when engineers design transportation, there's a certain given that people are going to die. It's almost looked at as a statistically inevitable situation. And a lot of times we justify this to ourselves internally by saying, people are gonna do stupid things, those stupid things are gonna result in people dying, and there's not much we can do about that because people would just do stupid things. It's only in the realm of traffic engineering that we accept this. We're all burdened every day with uh, warnings and labels and all kinds of things on child strollers and carriages and restraints and, and spilling your coffee. All this stuff is in because every other profession is required to actually wrestle with the damage that they cause. Whether it's frivolous or not, they're all required to. Engineers are not. Engineers are only required to wrestle with this in the most superficial of ways. We have liability protections for them. We have statutory immunity for cities. We are not forced to wrestle with the death that is caused by our designs. That needs to change. And I think the burden that we have, if we are going to have immunity, if we are going to have statutory protections, is that we have to actually hold ourselves to a higher standard Saying that death is statistically inevitable because people will do dumb things is merely a cop-out. It is not good enough. We need to demand more. My name is Chuck Marone, and that is my confession.